everyone and welcome back to a new Roblox video on my channel today. Today we're back in Adopt Me and we're gonna do something super fun and something I haven't really done on my channel yet. We are going to do some building hacks in Adopt Me and I've wanted to do this for so long because there's so many cool things you can do in Adopt Me with all of the building tools they have and today I'm going to show you some of my favorite tricks and hacks that have to do with pets and stuff like that so yeah I hope you enjoy today's building hacks video but I guess we're gonna go straight into it and start with the first hack which is you can basically turn everything into either a pet bed or like a drinking cup for your pets. What I mean by that is we have some cool things like for example the sand castle throne. I think that looks so cute and you can sit on it and your pet can sit on it but your pet can't sleep on it even though it's like a nice throne. So what we can do is we take one of the pet beds and we just put it on top of it. But now you're like, how am I supposed to like put it on top? I can only put it inside, which already works really well. I think that actually worked. Let's change the color a bit. Okay, that works so much better. All right, so we have the color now. Let's take a pet out and see if he can already sleep on it. Draco, you're my little victim. And let's do this. Okay, so now he's basically sitting on the throne, but he's not really sleeping on it yet. But now let's hit sleep. Yes! Okay, he's definitely inside the throne. So that's what I thought. Now, what you can do is you take him up. Nope, I'm sitting on my dragon. That is so bad. So what we can do is we put this to the side for the moment. There's so many ways of making it possible to place certain things on top of certain things. And you can all do that by choosing the barrier. You have a normal barrier and a glass barrier, but I think they're like pretty similar. And now we put it on the wall like this, and then we put it like this, and now we can add it on top of the castle. And now we put the little pet bed on top of that, and now it's like way higher up on the throne. So now let's take out Draco again, and let's make him sleep, and then he should be in not in the floor. Okay, <laughs> that was a bit creepy. All right, sleep. That is so much better. Look, he's sleeping on the throne. And that is, of course, not the only furniture item you can do that with. You can do it with so many different things. Let's check out the fairy aisle. You can make him sleep on benches, of course, on beds too. You can make him sleep in like cribs. I think you can already make them sleep in cribs, right? Let's make him sleep on a bouncy castle. I feel like the castle is like a perfect bed for a little pet. So let's turn it into the corresponding color. I feel like that works pretty well. Now we have to pick up little Draker and put him down. Oh my God, I'm already bouncing. No. Okay, let's stop editing. Let's put him to sleep. And he's sleeping in his own little castle. And I think there's like a lot more space than the normal castle bed. So I think this is so cute. And you can like bounce while he's sleeping, which is kind of mean because he'd probably wake up. Now let's get into the food and drinking bowls that you can create with this trick. Let's check out this bird bath over here, for example. It looks really cool and technically... There's water up in there, so your pet should be able to drink out of it, but at the moment it can't. So let's take a little pet bowl out, uh, the water one preferably, and let's take this barrier. We have to kind of take this a little bit closer, I think, to the wall so we can actually make it fit. And now we put the pet bowl on top of it. Of course, we have to color it too, so it kind of matches the fountain a bit better. And then we're basically done. Of course, you can probably hide the pet bowl a little bit better in the fountain, but that works for me for now. So let's make him drink. And it looks so cute because he's like drinking out of a fountain. And I think that's so adorable. Look at you. And of course, there's a few other things like that. Basically, you can just take any of the furniture items and add a food bowl on top and he can eat or drink out of whatever you want to. I love all of these building hacks because you kind of get more furniture items by just combining two or three of them. So what else could we do? I was thinking about the tent actually in the forest. I want to go camping with my pet but the pet cannot lay in here with me. It's just me or me. 
let's put the tent down first and now let's put this wall on top of it like this and now we need a pet bed again let's just take the one we have over here there we go and now let's place it inside this tent about there and now we have to color it in purple of course for me it's super hard to find the perfect color now but that doesn't matter you can hide it very very easily I think and now we can make our dragon sleep and we can sleep ourselves and we're both camping together I think that is so adorable you can like go camping with your little pet and you're gonna have a lot of fun camping together and then you of course have your little fountain here so you can really make a nice mystical forest with all of these cool hacks I'm just finding this grill and I feel like you could probably put a little pet bowl on top of the grill as well and then you can make your pet eat straight from the grill which I don't really recommend but I feel like it will look really really cute for a pet so let's try that one out as well perfect and now oh god I can't even find it anymore that's how well hidden it is okay we're not gonna touch it I wanted to change the color to match but it's too hot right now so let's take out little dragon and let's make him eat okay we have not even taken this barrier away that's a bit awkward all right eat little dragon look okay it would have been better <laughs> if he ate from the other side but I think you can do that by just rotating the bowl around but it's so cute he's eating straight from the grill that's so adorable but of course you can see I have a barrier right here and one last thing you can do is basically create new rooms using this barrier so let's maybe just move this stuff over to the side and let's try and create a new room so we have two barriers right here and there's basically a tiny little room over here now we don't have a door yet but I think that'll be fine we can probably put one right in there and then we can put a another barrier right on top to fully close off the room not like that <laughs> perfect and now we basically just need a door I feel like just like that it's also already really really cool it's kind of just an open room where you can just go into and like hide a few of your valuable items or something and then we can of course finish it off I think we can at least with a door let's just take a basic door right in there and then we of course have to add another barrier right on top to make it perfect i hope this works i haven't really tried this out yet so i am not 100 percent sure if this works with a door there we go it does work it fits perfectly i know the door is like a little bit weird it, it is acting up a little bit around the edges but that's fine we can still go in and out of this tiny little room we've created of course we should have probably moved the door a bit as well but I think this is a really really great hack because you can basically add rooms into your already existing house and yeah make it a lot more you and a lot more like the way you want it to be so I think this is so great that they added the barriers and of course you can use glass barriers too if you want a glass room and you can like use rooms for everything like a little storage room a little closet or you can make a full-on room just for your pets that is like made out of glass I feel like you could really make an adoption center now in your own house if you have like the glass and you make some really cool beds for them and then you can have your pets in there and people can come in and check them out and maybe even adopt them afterwards I think it's so cute you have so many options here in adopt me with doing different building hacks and making shops and everything so I'm definitely gonna do a lot more building hacks in the future but for now thank you so so much for watching today's video I really do hope you enjoyed it Dragger is literally still eating wow you've been eating for a while but it's okay Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this. And I guess I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs>